Hello everyone, I am Rohit. I generally talk about DevOps, Cloud Native and AI related stuff. Today, I am really excited to share you another tool which is helping me a lot in the last few days. So, without wasting time, let's get started with the video. One year ago, Redis made a significant change to their licensing model. As seen in their blog post, they moved away from being fully open source to adapt a dual source available licensing approach under the Redis Source Available License or RSL. This means that while Redis is still free to use, it's no longer truly open source, according to the open source initiator's definition. This change impacted how businessmen, businesses and cloud providers could use and offer Redis as a service. Before we dive deeper, a quick thanks to Amazon for sponsoring today's video. So, in response to Redis uh, license change, the Linux Foundation and Redis OSS contributors and users took action. They forked the last fully open source version of Redis to create a licensing uh, while key maintaining the open source commitment under the traditional OSS licensing. Valky preserved the core functionality while ensuring the core base remains truly open source. So let's look at this solution compare, uh, compare in practice, like comparison between Redis and uh, Valky. Using Docker images from Docker Hub, we can run a performance benchmark to see how they stack up against each other. So I have both of the images, Redis and Valky. So let's go to our uh, terminal and here we can run the benchmarking. So uh, let me run that command. Uh, run.sh where I'm just running different different docker compose uh, docker files using docker compose and then I will store the results in the benchmark and result charts so let me start that script as you can see uh, if no charts are generated it will just say me so what will happen here uh, so we are running our benchmarking suite which spins up both redis and valky containers and tests their performance across various operations the benchmark runs uh, test set uh, set get incr then uh, L push and L pop operations with different uh, data sizes. Each test runs thousand operations repeated three times for accuracy. So as you can see, uh, results are generated. Uh, let me go to results. Yeah, our results show that Valky performs nearly identical to Redis uh, across most of the operations with minor variations in some workloads. This confirms that Valky is a truly drop in replacement for Redis with comparable performance. For those seeking a managed solution, AWS offer Elastic Cache for Valky. This source uh, provide this service provides the open source benefits of Valky combined with AWS infrastructure, reliability, scaling capabilities, and operational expertise. Whether you choose Redis or Valky depends on your specific needs, licensing preferences, and deployment strategy. Both technologies continue to evolve in their new chapter for caching solutions. If you are looking for the links discussed in this video, they will be available in the video description or comments below. Thanks for watching my video. Hope this helps in finding your right solution.